The starter kit is a rebuild kit for your Smallington starter. The kit consists of the starter pulley, the starter hub, and the screw. The most common problem solved by the starter kit is a worn starter hub. If the teeth wear off the hub, it will no longer catch the pawls on the flywheel to start the engine. The kit is also a fix for a worn or broken starter pulley. Installing a starter kit is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the starter assembly from the housing. Now I need to remove the tension from the spring. To do that, I'll untie the knot that holds the starter handle in place. With the knot untied, I'll go ahead and remove the handle and allow the rope to recoil back into the starter. Next, I'll remove the screw that holds the starter pulley together. Now I can remove the hub and the pulley. I'll be careful as I remove the pulley from the housing so I don't bring the spring with it. And now I can remove the rope from the pulley. Take note how the rope wraps around the inside of the pulley. Now I can install the new starter kit. I'll start by reinstalling the rope onto the new pulley. To install the rope, I'll align the knotted end near the opening where the starter rope will pass through the pulley. Now I'll work the rope back counterclockwise through each of the slots and holders in the pulley. Then I'll pass the rope through the opening in the pulley, and I'll pull the rope tight around the center hub. Now I'll install the pulley back into the housing and onto the spring. You'll notice there's a notch cut in the pulley, and I need to align that with the knob on the end of the spring. Now I'll thread the rope through the opening in the housing. I'll go ahead and install the hub and secure everything with the screw. Next, I'll thread the rope back through the starter handle and knot it off on the end. You'll notice there's a couple of slots on either side of the pulley. I'll notch the rope into one of those slots and now rotate the pulley seven turns clockwise. As I do this, I'll make sure the rope stays in the notch and doesn't wind itself around the pulley. Now I'll pull the rope through the housing. Removing it from the notch and I'll allow the rope to recoil back around the pulley. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the starter. And that's how easy it is to replace the starter kit in your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.